So this is just going to be a quick little video of vegan versus vegetarian. And something that has often come up either in private conversation or when I've been to restaurants, cafes, what have you, has been the question of what's the difference between vegan and vegetarian. So I thought I would explain that one. So for my own part, I've been vegetarian since I was 17. I, let's see, I'm 33 at the time of recording this. I'm going to be 34 later this summer. So I became vegetarian not long after I turned 17 and there I was for nearly 11 years. And at some point around that almost 11 year mark I became vegan so that would have been about what six years ago now? 2017? 2017. So let's first of all define vegetarian. That essentially just means that the person does not eat meat. There are subgroups of that. For example, I know one or two friends who are pescatarian, which means that they are primarily vegetarian, but they also choose to eat fish. There are some other groups of vegetarian, which I can't remember off the top of my head. Vegan means that you don't eat any animal products, whether that be meat, dairy, etc. I also try where possible not to use things like leather where the animal will have been killed in order to obtain that. Having said that though you can't always help that. In some parts of the world well you can't really keep warm unless you use things like hides or wool or whatever. And thereby for me brings a question of ethics. Namely, did anyone ask the animal who gave the thing? I've got multiple dream catchers around here and the one I got recently is a pretty sizable one and it has some white feathers on it. Let's see if I can get that. Sorry guys, I tried to get it but I can't actually reach it. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you guys on camera but it has, among other things, like among all the, all the beads and whatnot, um, it has some white feathers which I'm told are normally turkey feathers. So my first thing when I got the dream catch was to, to basically say a, a little thank you to the turkeys for, well, or whichever bird gave us the feathers. Uh, of course, some people just love me silly for it because I think I'm absolutely mad for, for thanking the animal or whoever gave us the product. I'm like, well, no, because someone has to respect them. For me, I became vegetarian and then vegan for mainly ethical reasons, but I also find it healthier being vegan than, um, than I did even when I was vegetarian. The thing that annoys me about a lot of the substitutes is that they are so processed which is why I try to not buy them. Especially when uh, a lot of the substitutes that you buy are designed to mimic say the meat or the cheese or whatever it is that they're substituting. Um, as far as I'm concerned, if I am somebody who chooses to not eat those products, I have no business eating the substitute because it just doesn't make any sense. Having said that though, some of the things that I will get, like ice cream, they do have some vegan ice creams and I have used tofu and things like that if a recipe requires it. And I do have some frozen vegan nuggets and burgers and things in the freezer for something like something quick to throw in the oven off. Most of the time I prefer to make things from scratch anyway so it doesn't bother me. 
Well, I hope that kind of explains things a bit. It amazes me though, when you go to restaurants, how you ask if they have any vegan options or what vegan options there are, how they'll then go and start talking about vegetarian options. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no. Are there any of you guys vegetarian or vegan? Or, or what do you guys think of all this? Feel free to leave comments below and let's have a discussion. Well, if you've enjoyed that video, then feel free to like, subscribe, share, all the things, and I shall see you in the next video.